Adams fires a fastball, two pitch on the way. Another fastball, this is laced to the opposite field. Carson Pato can't get there. Pato is rocked, the ball is still loose. Pato's gonna have to get up here and get this baseball in. It'll be McDonald touching home around Tripper for McDonald. Uh, he being a former catcher himself, just lights up when he talks about it. Matthew Etzel begins this bottom of the first inning with a single out into center field. Crowder, big pitch of this at bat. That pumps Dickerson up around the shoulder. That's not what he does. And Carson Pato has hit a line shot out in the right field, right in front of Cam McDonald. Strong throw, fourth inning. Gowan struck out the next three. That won't happen here. A sacrifice fly by Chris Sargent. Etzel is tagging from third. Heads up baseball play by Dustin Dickerson. He takes the bag as well. 1-0. Oh. This is touchdown in the center field. Is it deep enough to tag Dickerson? It is. Golden Eagles will take a lead. 2-1. 0-2 oh, pitch. Got him on three pitches. Lynch late on the fastball from Crowder. That's what the spin rate on the fastball does. 2-2, two, two, breaking ball, lifted the left. Reese Ewing is going to see this down off the turf and into the hitting complex of the Golden Eagles. By rule, that's a ground rule double. For Matthew Adams, he's trying to get back into that rhythm as you see him lose here. Hazo got a 2-2 two, two count. Fastball that he laces in the left field. Couldn't get it up enough. That's going to plate two. Fighting Illini, take a lead, 3-2. And look at the energy from Cam McDonald. Full count. Breaking ball. Back up the middle. Look at Dickerson. Gonna get it over to first in time. 3-1. Crowder low and away. Lead off walk to the inning. Wilkes rocking that bat back and forth. Swinging on the first pitch. Deep in the hole is Harding. Not going to get it to first base in time. What effort by Slade Wilkes sliding into first base. Fastball that missed. Wilkes had to hold up for a second. I'm not sure he was aware that the pitch was a ball. Your head coach and Coach Hartlett being a catcher himself. Danny Lynch puts a swing on one in the right center field. It will play Sargent rounding third and Slade Wilkes. A play home at the plate, not in time. Two-run double for Danny Lynch, the senior third baseman. Club. One-two. Back up the middle. That is going to play Johnson. They're waving Lynch around third. He's coming home. they stand up and touch it. Two RBI single for the youngster in Creek Robertson. I told you they'd lift the lid off. Steal one off of Matthew Etzel. Instead, he sends it back up and through the middle. Creek Robertson runs well. He's going first to third. 2-0. Fastball. Lined out into left. Robertson will score. Fifth run of the inning for the Golden Eagles. 0-2. Sargent. Fielded over by Brandon Camilla. 17 inches of run on that last fastball. The 3-1. This one buried. Dickerson heads up play, advances up. Bunzel Myers coming to him. Chops this one over to shortstop. Bobbled by Hayza. And Peto, who runs well, gets through the bag in time. Running out of the box. And how about the play from Dustin Dickerson, Cliff, the score from second base. For Dustin Dickerson. Bunzel Meyer wide here. That gets. Look at that graphic, 667 average with runners in scoring position. Sends one to left, it's caught. Mormon back up the middle, base hit. 3-2, that pitch goes high. Full count, payoff pitch. What I've seen from him so far, just been fantastic as Oldham misses on the change here. And he's going to walk in a run on a full count pitch. That one's in the middle. 0-2, ground ball. Dickerson's going to have a throw out in the right field. It was not handled by Robertson. Two runs will score. 
0-2. Oldham gets the strikeout he needs one. But this game has turned into a secondary stuff game as Westcott lifts one out in the left field. Reese Ewing has a bead on it. Wilkes hammers one out in the right center field. He will stand up with a double. 2-1 to Blake Johnson. Hot shot underneath the glove of Brandon Camilla. This is going to roll all the way into the left field corner. An RBI double for Blake Johnson. Scoring Slade Wilkes from second base. And how fitting right along the storyline of the day. Got it there. A lot of movement, a lot of wicked stuff. Brown ball. Quagliano's got it. Over to first. Schroeder fights one off into right field in front of Carson Pato. Going to be a base runner. Out against Oldham. The 2-2. Ground ball. A high bouncer. This is going to get all the way out in the right field. Bounced over the head of Chris Sargent. Hazel puts a good swing on this one. Looking back is Reese Ewing. A three-run, towering home run to left field. And Cliff, along the storyline of this game, the fighting Illini have responded, and it's a tie ball game, 9-9. Nine to nine. Yeah, how about the bottom of this lineup, Jason? And, and to me, that's such a big story. Story and the logic in baseball came from the Oakland A's. You can't just get up there looking to hit. You got you to go the other way. You have to change the approach. Gets the last big blow. 3-0 misses wide. Constantina. <laughs> Runners get a head start. Robertson has skied it. Shallow right field. Cam McDonald, the right fielder, makes the catch. 3-0 high, watching their team scratch, claw, fight, and walk their way onto the base pass right now. The one-two, fastball, Harza has sent another one to left field. Reese Ewing has looked back. Cal Harza has hit a three-run home run, his sixth RBI of the day. Look at the energy out of the fighting Illini dugout. And Cal Harza, the nine-hole hitter with two home runs on the day. And Cliff, just like that, a two-run lead for Illinois. Yeah, that, that energy just left the, the stadium with that with that ball, Jason. And, and Hayes has done it all weekend. He, he had some great at-bats last night, and obviously today, two big swings. A three-run home run, his second of the afternoon. Dolla Gale lines one out in the center field. 2-2. Two -two. McDonald puts a good swing on it. This is back up the middle. Etzel in center field gets to it. First to third is going Brandon Camilla. What Coach Hartlett wanted to see out of his guys, but to me that's what Southern Miss has missed right there. It's an out pitch. Hard down in the zone. 1-2, Brady Faust has yanked one down the line. This is going to roll all the way into the right field corner. Faust is going to hold up with a double. 3-0, he misses on four pitches. 204th ball game, and he has line one in the left center field. Brady Faust is around third. They are going to hold Bryce Fowler 90 feet away. Danny Lynch has cut this lead in half, 3-1. That is why Robertson is going to take a walk. Look at the energy. 3-1, Etzel lines one in the right field. One run is in, and Fowler, they will hold Danny Lynch at third base on a strong throw from Cam McDonald. But Matthew Etzel's first taste of Pete Taylor part magic. He has tied this ball game up, Cliff. Yeah, fat, got the fastball, got the hitter's count, more importantly, got the fastball. I know this. There's one guy back at home right now that we wish were in our booth with us today, our statistician, Marty Wendell. Marty, sorry we're putting you through this while under the weather, my man. 
2-1 offering is a fastball, check swing, slow roller. Golden Eagles are coming home to try to score the winning run in a force out at home. The 2-0. Peyto, line shot, Cam McDonald. The big three-run home run in the top of the ninth. Janik sends one to left center field. Matthew Etzel can't get to it. It's going to skip off the wall. He's going to have to chase this down. Janik looking at third, going to stand up with a leadoff double here in the top of the 10th inning. That was a good fastball, 3-0. Punks Gavin Bennett here. He runs down to first base. Xavier Watson, the batter, he is plumped. The 1-1. Fastball lifted, right field. Carson Pato charging. They're going to try him. Pato didn't think they would. They're going to double up and get the runner backside. Does Lee Canazero count the run? Yes, he does. 13-12, fighting Illini, lead by one. Nothing has been developed yet on this season, although stuff on a day like today, Chris Sargent, they say goes around, the throw goes out in the right field. Sargent is safe at first base. We have seen it all officially today. That's not Jacob Schroeder, that is Gavin Bennett. Going on a blocked up pitch. Did they get him at second base? Christopher Sargent says they didn't get him. Sargent taking off on a bobble ball. Here's another look. This will be your best view. Oh, Sargent appears. We're going to have to put our perfect record to test. Here's our moment. He's safe. An overturn. The one-two to Reese Ewing. Swing and a miss. The ball has skipped away. They will throw down to first base to put out Reese Ewing officially. 3-2 payoff pitch, Russo, hot shot. It is knocked down by Xavier Watson, but the Golden Eagles have tied it up once again. Thinning after the Fighting Illini got a run in the top of the 10th, Sanchez gonna send us to the 11th. Monastere's hand. Cam McDonald slices one in front of Cam. Their cleanup hitter painted it black. He gives up the hit to Cam McDonald, but that's it. As you see, the four-pitch walk there to Creek Robertson. 3-2 to Matthew Etzel with one out and one on. It goes high. Creek Robertson. Close. 267. <laughs> but a base hit would win it. Instead, Carson has chosen to send a ball out into center field. And a walk-off win. Carson Pato ends the ball game. And the Golden Eagles walk it off.